Hey, it's Bridget. Welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. Today I'm going to do a video for you and it's going to be a little different take on Sunday Morning Coffee. I'm actually recording this the July 4th weekend in July 2022 here in the U.S. And I thought it would be great to bring in this unique topic of bubbles. The topic is bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Okay, <laughs> this doesn't have anything to do with the 4th of July, aside from the fact that some of y'all are going to be drinking busy, bubbly beverages, okay? And so am I. So instead of coffee today, we are going to have something with bubbles in it, a little spicy, some ginger beer is what we're having. For those of you who don't follow me on Instagram, why not? Bridget, inspired on Instagram. You will see a little, my first little taste test. I have not, this is only the second time ever in my life history that I've had ginger beer. My first time was yesterday and I shared my reaction video. <coughs> Ooh, it's strong already. It's very spicy. It's got like chili in it, <laughs> like chili pepper. <laughs> so good. Oh, I love it. Okay. So we're going to have this busy drink. And we're going to talk about bubbles for Sunday morning coffee. I have a lot of thoughts actually on this. And I think it's a fun topic, but it's also alchemical. So there's energy here that we can work with on a lot of different levels, depending upon where you're at. All right. So let's have a sip of this. <laughs> totally. It has a kick. I described it as, whew, has <laughs> kind of like this energy that goes right to the throat chakra and then puff and kind of makes this just of energy that goes up into the head. It's like, <laughs> like pepper to the brain. Oh, okay. Let's have a little more of that. It's kind of addicting. It's a tiny little can, but it's so good. Mm. This is a great Substitute alternative for an alcoholic beverage or an adult beverage, just so you know, if you're looking for something different. Plus, I think it's a little healthier than actually alcohol. So, although there's quite a bit of sugar in here, I will say that. A little bit more coming. Ready, ready, ready. Mmm, great. Okay, I also have water. I have some water. Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bubbles. So a couple of days ago, I actually had my own personal healing session. And for the first time in a really long time, I had a hands-on healer work on me. Someone that knows body work, that also understands energetics. She actually is trained as a doula or a birthing doula and just understands the chakras and energy and sacred geometries and just awesome, awesome sacred container. And so I had my session on Thursday. Today is Saturday when I'm recording this. And one of the things that I took away from the experience I had was very deep and very changing for me. It really cleared a lot. I was really honored in that space and held. And so... <clears throat> One of the things that she and I were having conversation after was bubbles, like that the energy would come out in little bubbles. There'd be little bubbles. Let's ask and set the intention for bubbles of awareness or release. Because when you do a clearing or you have energetic healing work done, it comes in stages. So if you do a healing or a meditation, even and you're doing something that's like a guided meditation, there's something you're learning about or connecting to or trying to manifest, that will, that is just the start of a process. And then it's, it comes out slowly, then gradually over the next hours, days, could be weeks or months for you, depending upon how you process the energy. So it's like bubbles of energy. So that was the first time bubbles came up in that, in a form of release. In fact, when we're saying release, let's use, I have release oil. Let me grab it. I have oil called release. Let me grab it. We're in my healing space, my office here now. So that. You've heard me talk about these oils, but you've not actually seen them on camera, I don't think. 
release. This is from the Emerald Temple. You can go emeraldtempleoils.com to see. Go. And so we'll use the first, the first talking point here in our Sunday morning coffee is bubbles for release, to release. And think about a little kid that grabs just some bubbles, a wand, and it's like perfect for the summertime here. And just the bubbles and the wand and a little bit of the breeze and the bubbles kind of popping all over and kind of just moving. And some are big and some are tiny little bubbles. And sometimes when you dip that little wand in the bubble little tray or the bottle, it, when they come out, they're kind of a disappointment. Like you're trying to move them and they're just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. they just fizzle out. And then sometimes, so then you have to go back in, right? You don't just give up. You don't just give up. You dip that thing back in there. You kind of squish it around a little bit, kind of see and kind of get a little more intention. And then for that connection, and then when you lift it up to the air element, whew, alchemy happens and the bubbles go, right? get big and they fly and they, they're they iridescent and just mystical and magical and fun and light. And you can do it over and over and over again. Maybe as adults, we need bubbles, maybe. So there's another version of bubbles, right? Besides the release and the air element. So we're going to activate the energy of, of elements also. So like earth, air, fire, water, light, as it pops in or bubbles up for us today in this Sunday morning coffee episode, because there is alchemy to the elements and it can support you and your journey. It's very simple. That's why nature supports you. That's why you're human in a body so that you can appreciate the beauty of nature. And it's not just, oh, so pretty to look at. It's great to engage and connect with nature through the elements. And I'll share with you a bit how to do that as we're moving through this. Today. So there's another way that I just accidentally discovered. I wanted to try something different. As far as I was thinking the holiday weekend, it's a long weekend. We all have Monday off here and so I thought, what can I do with the kids and just something different or fun or whatever? And I saw this and I thought we have been, um, my youngest has really been enjoying um, Izzy's lemonade soda. We don't drink a lot of soda in our house. Well, I don't. My youngest doesn't, but my just graduated from high school kiddo definitely does drink soda, but I don't buy that. Okay. They have to buy it themselves. All right. But when I saw this and then the seltzer water thing and the whole kind of, I was thinking of ways to be healthy after I had my healing session, I was thinking of ways I could be healthy heading into a holiday weekend. That's usually like festive and picnicky and there's adult beverages usually. Right. And I usually partake in that. And so I'm like, well, what can I do in lieu of that? Because I just had a healing session. And when you have a healing session or an energy work done, or do kind of a deep meditation or are doing deep healing work, whether you're using a journal and on your own personal journey of it to keep the body pure and flowing connected to the water element. It's best not to use things like alcohol in your body, <laughs> at least during the time you're doing that. Okay. Because that's like very aggressive and abrasive energy and it's a lowering, it depresses the energy, it, it dampens things, it slows everything down. It doesn't really relax you. It takes away your awareness is what it does. And so it also forces it like a fake detox kind of thing. It's weird. I don't know how to explain it, but the liver and the kidneys don't like it well. And so I'm like, what can I use then knowing that I can't for a couple of days I shouldn't for a couple of days partake in any kind of alcoholic beverages, even the funny ones, you know? And I thought, I went through the, the aisle with all the sodas, the Italian sodas, which are yummy. And I found ginger beer and I thought this would be good. It's like super fuzzy and like bubbly and stuff. And so this was my second bubbly thing. Something that you can use in place of something else that provides a different and unique perspective while still feeling the enjoyment of the sensory reaction in the body, which is the mouth specifically, and the mouth is extraordinarily sensory, right? Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah, throat chakra, ooh, hoo, hoo. it burns, you know? That's like alcohol, ooh, oh, burns, yeah, it's a burn. So does that. 
there's lots of different way, ways to activate those sensations in the body. And the element to honor here is water because water is the emotional energy. Water is flow. Water, whether you are walking by the water, like a, just a, a little creek by your house or a lake sitting at the lake or whether you are listening to an audio with wave sounds, it's about movement, it's about flow, it's really designed, water elements really designed to support your heart and emotion. You don't become the water, you don't become the emotion, but you can, you know that you're made up of a huge portion of your makeup is water. And so what you're doing is regenerating and rejuvenating and replenishing your resources. You are a well is what you are energetically. And the emotion that is representative of the heart element through the water flowing is a one way that you as a sensitive being can really honor and, and express within yourself your love, the love for you inside. And so something kind of different, a different perspective, taking this instead of that, like making a choice of this, instead of that shifts a perspective, but it also, it, it's still, it's still, it's a little trickster like with the mind because it still feels the similar sensation to the adult beverage, but it's not that it's different. And it's, would it be better to just have water only? Yeah, it would be, but guess what? I got both. It's this and this. And this isn't adding in an extra layer of depressed energy, of heaviness. It doesn't have the down, pressure down. Okay. So this bubbly drink or little beverage that I have. So the second point is about the perspective of the choices you have and the connection through the water. Replenish, rejuvenate, charge. So bubbles, the third one is kind of connected to the mind, but it's also connected to the solar plexus or the belly and a little bit the sacral chakra. I'm talking about chakras, yeah, energy centers inside your body. So a little bit the belly, solar plexus, and also a little bit of the sacral chakra, that womb space. Because what I'm dipping it into with this bubbling energy is Creativity, creativity, being a creator, creative. You create your life. You create your life. I have, a, um, oh my gosh, right across from me. I have not put up pictures or anything in here yet, but I have a, a, a sign that I have in here that I always have when I'm doing sessions and things so I can remind myself of it. It says life is not about finding yourself, it is about creating yourself. I have another sign that I have that I often will refer to, and it is the best way to predict your future is to create it. And I don't know if you know about the full body of my work, but I am a psychic medium and I am an intuitive life coach. And so where I come from, how I do all my work, the platform from which I begin is the intuitive life coach which is an, a very powerful and advocacy place for your spirit and your mind to work together. All the assets of you, body, mind, heart, and soul. So you can be full in your intention and show up for your life. The best way to do that is to be connected to your creative energy. I'm not talking about your ability to draw <laughs> or how great you can write or not. I'm not talking about that. It's not about talent or skill. It's about what's innate within you. So the bubbling energy is kind of what I do when I do a, um, when I'm creating something like a project or a program or uh, working on a, some kind of new offering or service offering I'm going to do. Sometimes if I need to think through things, I will... I'm taking an example of something fun and good, but you can do the same thing for something that's maybe a decision you have to make. But do you remember the old school mind maps? Come on, it's just a bunch of bubbles on a paper. So you put a big circle in the middle and you put what your question is or what the topic is that you're brainstorming about. You're thinking about, you're throwing things out there about. 
And so then you make little other little bubbles of ideas or thoughts around that, that topic. And you make ideas and things around that or bubbles of ideas around that. So it's like idea bubbles all over, right? So it's like the old cartoon characters with the aha light bulb above their head, idea, <laughs> you know, like that. And so the third way that we connect with the concept of bubbles or bubbly, bubbly is creativity and the movement or flow of ideas. And so that comes from this deeper connection inside you that's fire. It is a spark of light that is passionate about something that feels good about something or that really is driven. It has this kind of core or hunger about you. That is the fire element. And you can find that most often in your sacral chakra, your womb space. But sometimes also, like for me, solar plexus, which is the sun chakra, which is a very light, shinier light, the home of your purpose, the temple within you, space. It's like right at your belly, but like a, sh like a big spotlight, like a big flashlight, like that. That is who you are at your core. That is who you are. So, and then finally, the fourth and final point in the Sunday morning coffee episode about bubbles is the bubbling up, the bubbling up energy. What might be just below the surface for you? What might be just ready to come into your awareness? It could be about yourself, it could be a realization. It could be a response to a prayer, something you've asked the universe and God for insight or clarity on. It's just below the surface. It could be something that is close to that creative vibe and the bubbling up of ideas. No matter what comes up with the bubbles, it's the movement from that raw core center of you coming up, your entire body, moving that energy upward so that you can have it in your awareness, so that then you can make conscious and informed choices as to next steps, as to perhaps giving you a deeper understanding of feelings or emotions that you've been working with or working on. Or maybe it's just literally like the clouds part and the bubbling up of energy is somebody standing up and having a voice. Maybe it's as simple as the voice inside you. And maybe that's the fourth bubble. Listening to, being willing to receive and hear your own voice. It doesn't matter what you're yelling or standing up or advocating for for other people. Yelling about or passionate about or angry about or whatever. Where's your voice? Are you even listening to your own self? Are you listening to what is within you, trying to bubble up to break the surface? I'm not talking about old patterns, old thoughts, old values, old belief systems. I'm talking about what's here and what's now for you. All right, do you have a voice? Are you listening to your voice within you? Within. If you're doing your work within, then I'll listen to you. If you're not, don't get mad at me for that. Don't express your own disappointment within yourself outwardly at other people not doing their stuff or complaining about how they're doing something or saying something. They are doing something and they are saying something. Let you bubble up. Your voice, listen to your voice. All right, I got to have another sip of this ginger beer. Let me know in the comments below if there are different flavors that you've tried of this or other things that you try like this that's great and like bubbly because they really like it. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> hmm. Yep. And I have not wanted any kind of other beverages at all. Even though everything's like super chill, relax, holiday weekend, I'm like, this is good for me. This is working. <laughs> so kind of help that body continue to bubble up, release energy. And the best way to do that is to stay in a uh, healthy vibration. So 
So this is Bridget. It's my pleasure to record this podcast for you every week on Sunday mornings. Usually I'm having coffee and oftentimes it's an audio, but today I felt inspired to do a video. I'm sure you watch this on Above Life channel on YouTube, or you know my channel after life celebrity guests weekly, usually on Mondays is when I do that. I also have another YouTube channel, Fairy Grasshopper on YouTube. Fairy Grasshopper is a place where I share some intuitive vlogging, you know, do some like old school card readings and things like that, kind of fun psychic stuff over there, but also deep stuff too from time to time. I will chill it, will chill channel. I will channel like archangels and deities and things like that. And also talk to you about intuitive topics. So, and share divination tools like oans or essential oils or um, journaling techniques and things like that. So I look forward to continuing to connect with you. I hope I've inspired your spirit today, filled you with some hope and encouraged you to live your life. This is your life after all and you get to live it. Just let thanks for being here.